Hello. 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 <laughs> Uh, so, sorry we're a bit late, uh, blame Swedish trains, uh, um, and this is GTA The Ballad of Gaetoni, the second expansion of GTA 4, and yeah, I think without, well, with, with I'm Omega and with me co-commentating is the Joshimus and the MH. Yeah, I don't run this game, but that's okay. Yeah, because we were originally supposed to have Sventor commentating, but he had to bail because reasons. So, so MH is filling in for him. So yeah, without further ado, uh, I think we'll just get going because we're late anyway, so... My timer? Yeah, okay. just start timer when I press uh, enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, three, two, one, go. Hey. Yeah. You made it. <clears throat> yeah! <laughs> so, uh, Swedish trains. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Apparently, two drops of rain and they can't run in a tunnel, so, yeah. Yeah, everything's just cancelled and stuff. Yeah, cancelled. So, yeah. Very good. Yeah, so... So this game is like the second expansion of uh, GTA 4. And they decided to ditch the whole, like, realism thing and go for, like, wacky fun instead. It's and it's so good. Yeah, it's pretty fun. And, well, the first mission is kind of just uh, driving around. There is a little strat that I'm doing, which is uh, if you've watched uh, GTA 5 runs, you're pretty familiar with it, it's curb boosting. So if you just like hit these curbs and then like turn away from them, then stuff can happen. Good start. Yep. I think I'll just restart. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Good start. Yeah. That can happen sometimes, it's rare, but you know. <laughs> You were, going, you were going pretty fast until you flipped over. Yep. Uh, it, zoom was happening, so... I mean, it's it's pretty much impossible to predict when that'll happen. I'm sure Comics is in the chats being like, well, mm, that's why I stopped curb boosting there, but, you know... Because he likes to do that. We need to go <laughs> Complimentary jump. Anyways... Uh, so this drive, uh, it's good. It's so good, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, storyline. What's the, the story? Yeah, so the story is, uh, uh, we're not actually playing as the gay Tony, uh, it's uh, shocking, I know, Tone's in the car with us, but we're actually Louise, so Tony runs uh, like a bunch of nightclubs, and you're like his bodyguard, and you do like, like your business is in pretty much the gutter, it's like, the, the city is like clamping down on the clubs and stuff, so, like trying to do things to, you know, make do. And I also get in trouble with a bunch of, like, mafia bosses that you're borrowing money from and stuff. Yeah, so when you enter Who's these markers, anxious. the game, like, puts your car... That's a nice car bags. spawn. Yeah. Yeah. So as long as you're turning, like... Like, the game's gonna spawn you either pointing north or south, depending on which direction you're, like, more pointing towards. So you just, like, uh, turn a little bit, and then that... Uh, then the game just turns your car around in a cutscene. Also, we'll like, ignore the totally copyrighted music that you can't turn off. And then uh, you gotta drive your buddies home. That's interesting. <laughs> the traffic is so good to them. <laughs> yep. Uh, and we, we'll also enjoy a little bit of this amazing dialogue. I trust this guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good uh, banter in this game from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. You sound like 5 0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shack? What's your IQ age? 76, motherfucker. <laughs> what they gonna let you do at Burger Shack with an IQ sub 80? They just about let, let me wash the goddamn dishes. dishes. <laughs> you see what I mean now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shack. Yeah, so this game, yeah, being the, the last expansion for GTA 4, they just, they, they, yeah, they threw all logic away. And they just made the most fun game they could. If you've never played this, this is like a really hidden gem GTA game. It's like, it's just so fun. Like, there's no, they don't really slow you down for like tutorials or anything. Almost every single mission gives you a new overpowered weapon to use. Yeah there, yeah, there are a bunch of unique weapons that you get in this game that are not in any of the other GTA 4 games. Yeah. Uh, they give you fast cars. Yep, like fast cars everywhere. Uh, gonna... 
There's the autosave. Nice. Yeah, so now we finished the first drive, which is like a tutorial, I guess. Oh, and there's a taxi, exactly what I need. So like in uh, original GTA 4 and Lost and Damned, you use taxis a lot as well. Uh, so this here is... Uh, you gotta wait a little bit here, because after the first mission is over, uh, you're waiting for the next Tony mission to unlock. So you use like the tutorial text to uh, kind of give you an idea of when to get in the car. And then you get in, and... You cancel this end of mission like results screen and then you get out. That's like skip an end of mission phone call which would like slow you down. Uh, you also just kept your frame rate there. So, uh, oh yeah, so that's... Just explain that. Yeah, so... In this game, uh, unlike in like say San Andreas, uh, the FPS does... Like, like the FPS affects the game a little bit but not too much. So... So there's an in-game clock in this uh, game, obviously, but the the speed at which it runs is de determined by your frame rate. Uh, so the the higher your frame rate is, the slower the in-game clock runs. Okay. <laughs> so if you run at like 200 FPS, like two minutes or like one minute in-game should take like two two minutes and like. 20 seconds ish uh, in like in real time or maybe like two on two minutes 10 seconds but if you run at 26 fps it takes like just like two minutes as it should so you use frame rate limiting to uh, uh, speed up wait times pretty much and also it affects friction and stuff as well so so like bikes for example they're really terrible at like high frame rates, out of bounds, by the way. Yeah, also strats. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we just entered Shadow Realm. Uh, so this is uh, clipping, uh, which you can do in all the GTA 4 games. If you uh, uh, like wedge yourself between like a wall and an object, and then you you jump and you press uh, well, on PC, it's F to uh, cancel the jump, and sometimes you just get put out of bounds. Yeah, so you just skipped like that whole, there's like a whole combat section, you go through multiple floors of enemies. But what he does is he clips out of bounds, lands outside, runs to where the exit is, hits like a trigger that's like, oh, you're at the exit, so you must be done with the mission. Uh, and then he, he uses like a, a retry abuse, so he blows up Tony's car, which fails the mission. And he gives a little failed dialogue thing. But then after, in GTA 4, when you fail a mission, you get a text message asking you if you want to retry it from a checkpoint. Uh, so he retries from checkpoint and then it resets him like outside of it and he can just uh, continue from there. And uh, you just did another thing there. You're doing a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff is happening. So first of all, I set the vehicle density to 100, which uh, in increases the density of the cars uh, because I want to find a taxi. Uh, it makes them slower, right? Yeah. Because they're yeah. heavier. Yeah. It, well, actually, I don't want to find a taxi yet. I want to find a two-wheel uh, motorized carriage there it is so this is i'm actually setting up a, a completely new strat uh that we found uh just like this was discovered like two weeks ago i think so what i'm gonna do is i get a bike and i park it here uh, for later and next i actually want a taxi to go to the the, uh, the next mission and also while i'm doing this i'm waiting for a phone call there it is so now i'm just gonna get a taxi and go to uh Go to mama's boy, or mama's bro. So yeah, this is a little bit different. It's uh, slower for like run any percent runs, I think. But it's a, such a cool strat that I just want to show it off during this run. So what you do is you start mama's boy, and instead of following this guy, you just abandon him. Yeah, he he needs to walk and talk, or and we don't need transport supposedly. But yeah, uh, I have better ideas. Oh, also, I forgot to do a thing. Hold up. The most important thing that is for this strat. So, so in this game you have uh, friends, like in GTA 4. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, uh, call Armando for some guns. And, yeah, there he is. See, he just popped in the map. He's gonna be just around this corner. So when I go here, uh, Santo is going to be angry that we've abandoned him and the mission will fail. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to 
I'm retrying the mission with uh, talking with Armando here to start buying guns. So the camera does this weird thing, and as we start the mission, we're actually at the Armando's gun van again. And but we, the fun thing with this is we actually have control here. So if you look at the minimap, you see that I'm actually walking while I'm buying guns. And conveniently, there's like normally the, this wouldn't be too useful, but there's a safe house right here that I'm gonna try to enter. <laughs> yeah, there oh, it is. Yeah. Now I'm inside the safe house. Yeah, so the problem here is that the camera is locked to this car. But if you go to your safe house, and mom's calling me. <laughs> uh, what happened, Luis? Where are you? Uh, just don't worry about it. So, so now I'm watching TV. Uh, we, we just went to watch some TV. And now I cancel. And now, I'm, now we're not locked into the uh, gun van camera anymore. And we have this weapon, weapon menu here. Yeah. So you're still... No, no! <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I pressed the wrong button. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh. Do it again. Yeah, so now I have to do... God, this is such a finicky setup, uh, so... Yeah, he's trying to, like, set up a thing where he has access to the gun van while on... Oh, no! <sighs> what did you just do? It didn't auto say after... Oh. I need to do Chinese takeout again. <laughs> Wait, did it not? Uh, it didn't auto save, and I just you assumed didn't, it. You mm. didn't have like the option to like overrun yeah. or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so this is fun. <laughs> it's a bit of a train wreck, mm. um, <laughs> which is good. Yeah. Oh dear. So, uh, it's okay. We'll just yeah. just wing it. More content. Yeah, more content. Well, because I really want to show up this strat. It, it's worth it. I promise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just. I, I pressed E instead of F, with, which like cancels the menu, so that's like the whole issue. And like the thing with the gun van is, is once you, uh, uh, oh, nice. is once you cancel the menu and like Armando goes away, then you can't like call him for a while. So I couldn't just like retry it, like right there. But yeah, we're, we're doing this again. <laughs> In the meantime, if you have uh, any donations to read, now's a good time for us. All right, uh, we do have a donation by Matt540178. That's not the amount, that's just the name. Uh, with $25 attached is a message. Much love. I am grateful for all the good you're working to bring into the world. Thank you for helping us do good yourself with this uh, generous donation. And this donation is going to the crowd control run of Super Mario Kart. Do we have time for more? Yes. All right, uh, we have another donation by Mr. Post with the message 21. Can you guess the amount of the donation? $21. Correct. Uh, we have another quiz now, uh, a donation by Alaches with $20 saying, question to Omega. What is both an abbreviation of a GTA 4 expansion and a body enjoying a hot beverage? <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, tea lad? <laughs> tea lad. I yeah. think that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, so this, what, this time we didn't get into Shadow Realm, which is actually better. Just, and just do this. Yeah, this, uh, if I had my correct freaking save series, wouldn't have been an issue. But yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. Tony? <laughs> you nudged him a little bit, yeah. I mean, he walked into me, man. Yeah. You had to wait for him to shut the door and everything, yeah. yeah. Anyway, this, thankfully this mission is not long, so... There's still, uh, still time. Yeah. I'm assuming this game also has, like, the alternate dialogue when you retry missions, like in the other GTA 4s? Yes. yes. Yeah. Even more content. I mean, the, well, I loaded the save, so... Yeah, yeah not this time. Oh, dang. How are you changing vehicle density? <clears throat> uh, so in in the latest patch, you can like, so, so you don't have to like use your mouse to uh, uh, change your vehicle density. You can use, just do it by like clicking the vehicle density like tab, and then you press like A and D to uh, like uh, change the amount. So you okay. go from like one to uh, one to one hundred and hundred to one. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I ran this game, I had to like drag the bar. 
Yeah, where I wanted it and always be like one off. It was really annoying. Alright, so we're doing this again. So one taxi, please. Uh, yeah, you're good. Did you get an auto save this time? I don't think so. Mm. Well, <laughs> it's alright. Just, just try it one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're just. Thank you. I'm, I'm confident. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do it better this time. I promise. <laughs> the thing will be done. I'm also gonna call Armando here, like I'm kind of sued, <laughs> so I don't have to like run back. Yo, bro, I'm trying to do the setup. Yeah. Gonna give me your van. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so now, uh, yeah, Let's walk and talk. yeah, we're not gonna walk, walk and talk. talk. <laughs> but when you never change your ringtone, then. Uh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> oh, well. default it is. Yeah, so Santos angry again. That's unfortunate. Big L, yo. I should stop selling drugs, yeah, so you retry huh? the mission and run into this trigger at the same time. Yeah. So you do both. No need for yeah, just need to not press E during this mm -hmm. whole, yeah, yeah. whole setup. <laughs> yeah. Also, did you just call you Big L? Yeah. Well. Yeah, Big L for failing the setup. So now yeah. you have to like blindly run down the alleyway and get in into your safe house again and watch mm -hmm. TV. It's not too difficult. And come stuck in the corner. <laughs> nope. That's. It's also strange because the controls are like. Uh, they, they they don't like correspond to the directions at all. Right. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, in safe house again, because the minimap changes to the interior one. Yeah, so, so just find the TV. Uh. All right. Uh, there you go, good. All right, so now I just need to get on the bike and get off the bike. Just, just don't, don't let don't me press, press e. e. Yeah, don't press E. All right, so now... We are at sniper rifle. Now that's good. All right. So now uh, we retry the mission again, and this time we have a weapon menu and we have a bike, both of which are important. Uh, so bye, Santo. Uh, so, so in this mission, you're supposed to go to a fight club and beat up like three dudes. Yep. Before you can like progress the rest of the game, uh, you need to wait for that guy to come over here to open all these doors for you. Okay. Uh, not that one, but the other door. Uh, but he's gonna skip this door here by using this bike. He's gonna park it very carefully and then like get off and on and it should put him through the door. This is There we go. Very good, very good. Now he's in through here. Now we're into the fight club. The thing with the yeah. fight club is that you're supposed to punch people and beat them up. Uh, it's like really slow because you know melee in GTA games. Uh, but we have access to the gun menu. Yeah, so uh there's a shotgun, eight hundred and forty dollars <laughs> purchased. <laughs> uh so now he's just gonna do that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah you that. got him. You beat him, dude. <laughs> good job. Got him good. All right, here's the next one. Okay, this one. This guy's tough. He loves yeah. muscle. Look. Yeah, he has like twice as much health. Yeah, yeah. Careful. Yep. Yeah. He might, he might get you. Ah, oh, good job. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. This yeah. is a good strat. When I first saw this, I was, uh, I was like trying to figure out why he was going through all these steps to get into this, and I just couldn't do it until. Until the exact second he got in here, and I realized, oh. <laughs> yeah, take yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, funnily enough, after all that setup, that isn't actually faster for any percent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it looks really cool. Uh, it is faster for 100%, though, because in 100%, you need to do like extra fights here. Yep. Um, yeah, and if you could just shoot every single dude, that would save so much time. <clears throat> That was interesting. Yeah, and that, there I just cancelled the phone menu. Oh, or not, right. not the phone menu, the uh, the weapon menu. Yeah. So the game took a little while to like decide where I was. So yeah. So that's that's the strat I wanted to show. Shame it took like two tries, but we yeah. got there in the end. Yeah, it was worth it, I think. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a fun fun thing to do. Yeah. So any uh, hundo runners? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I mean. No? Was, since I last ran 100%, there's a lot of new stuff. Because that whole gun van thing wasn't even a strat at all when I ran. Yeah. But you can, like, I believe you can, like, teleport with it and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, got a lot of applications. And maybe even more we haven't found yet. Yeah, so... All right, so we're back to somewhat normal gameplay. Um, 
Yeah, so this is like a drug deal that we're going to. And yeah, we're going to get ambushed by a bunch of uh, popos. As per usual, when dealing with these two. So should we actually talk about what the vehicle density does? Yeah, so the vehicle density, it's, uh, it sets the, the, the amount of vehicles that can then spawn in the, in the world. So you set it to 1 when you want to drive, and then you set it to 100 when you want to find a taxi. Yeah, so yeah, you set it to the minimum when you're driving around, so there's less cars to crash into and get in your way. Nice lane-changing limo. Yep. Uh, so there's like really light traffic right now. And then, yeah, when you need a taxi, you want lots of traffic, so taxis also, like, spawn, but they also get stuck in traffic, so you can catch them. So this um, is a oh, yeah, this drop. Yeah, I forgot about this. This is a nice shortcut. Wow, that went really well. Yeah, that's a good drop. Yeah. Just kind of drop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Face down. <laughs> yeah, good defamation. Better yeah, yeah, yeah. GTA 5. Yeah. They had this defamation and launched GTA 5, but they removed it because online. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, so you get into this market and then you change vehicle density again. Uh, because we don't want to drive back from here because this is in the middle of nowhere. So now there's a shootout. The, the guys pretty much always spawn in the same spots. So to so blow up that car by shooting it and you uh, shoot some coppers. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, shoot Armando a little bit. I mean, yeah, he's alright. Yeah, he's fine. For someone who's never played this game, it's always like really cool to see like how one of the first missions has is like a huge shootout with like I mean they give you one of the new guns I guess. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. He, he got this gun in the second mission. Yeah. The, the one we went out of bounds in. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you just get loads of like action like rip right away. Pretty yeah. Much. It's like pretty good. Yeah. Is there a thing here? Yeah. So what you do here, it's uh, like Enrique needs to plant a bomb and. It can take a little while, unless you limit your frames, and then he does it, like, super fast. So you limit your frames, and the bomb always blows up, like, super fast. And you're also kind of shooting these guys a little early. Yeah, you need, yeah, you can shoot these guys when they're still in the helicopter, like two of them. You, can, you still have to shoot the one guy, and then you kill these guys, and that's the, that's the shootout. Well, you got one more shot to make. Yeah, you blew up, that one. Blew up this helicopter. With a rocket launcher, because why not? And also, one application of limiting your frames is so, to make it so that NPCs don't get stuck on things. Because once, when you run this game at like really high frame rates, the, your bodies just tend to get stuck everywhere. So you limit the frames to make it sure that, that they don't do the uh, the cha cha dance on my like, cars. Now the placebo wiggle to try to find a taxi. Yep, not working. Yep. Thank uh -oh. Josh. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. That's not too bad. Oh, that, yeah, that's good. See, it works. Yeah, so like some parts of missions require you to drive to a place and other missions just let you taxi. Oh yeah, we should say taxis teleport you. Yeah. We mentioned that, it should be obvious. Yeah, teleporting yeah. fast. Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, it just cuts out a lot of like pointless, meaningless driving. Some people don't like the whole taxi thing, but if you actually do runs, it's like just so much better. Oh, yeah, that guy's okay. coming towards me. There's still plenty of like driving and traffic RNG and stuff to deal with, so. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to try to get that taxi to, like, stay, but, yeah, he just kept on driving. Yeah, just <laughs> unfortunate. Also, this mission, this next mission is quite fun. Okay, I'm gonna just punch his window, because why not? So, this is sexy time, and in this mission, you're going to a yacht to steal a helicopter. Oh, yeah, yeah, they just give you a bu It's like, what, it was, like, the fourth mission? And now yep. you have, like, a buzzard. All right, so, so this is also oh, new rel fat. relatively new. So, so when you like do like when you uh, get into a taxi and set a waypoint, hey, nice. Yeah, <laughs> it like there are normally like set places where you can like uh, take the taxi, but if you do what I did, which is like you set a marker and you get into a taxi, and just as Luis closes the door, you uh, you pause the game and then. Uh, you remove the marker. Uh, can I get up here? And you remove the marker, and that makes it so you can actually like taxi to pretty much anywhere in the map, including water. Yeah. yeah. So you just taxi right outside of the boat and just yeah. climb up it. Yeah. 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 That skips like a whole boat ride to get over here. Yeah. The secret key to unlocking the taxi driver's is loyalty. Yep. <laughs> Take you literally anywhere. Yeah, so you have to fly a little bit, a little back to trigger the destroying the yacht sequence. 
So there's three parts of this yacht that you uh, you have to destroy. It's the back, the center, and the front. So that's two. And I, I ran into it. Bonk. That's fine. Bonk. And there's the front. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, helicopters only get really get destroyed. I mean, I guess if they get blown up with like a rocket, but also like if the blades like hit stuff too much. Mm -hmm. then, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, the actual body is pretty strong. Yeah, that's a, that bonk bonk is fine. Three little boats to shoot. Thingy. Oh, so. Ooh, I'm way too high up. Don't go too low. <laughs> Better you were too high. <laughs> okay, that was alright. Uh, that was okay. Yeah, uh, whatever. You didn't sink. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always a little worried about this mission because of <laughs> telecontrols on keyboard. Yeah, yeah. The, the the taxi thing is another, to me, new strat where yeah, you can just teleport wherever you want by just abusing how the markers work. Um, we can talk about it a little bit more later. You do it a fair few. Yeah, time you do it like, like a lot in yeah, this yeah. run. Um, yeah, while we're flying back, now's a good time for donation. Yep. All right, we have a donation by Moonchild85 with twenty dollars saying. Talk about a GTA trifecta. Hi MH, hi Josh, and good luck Omega. Thanks. Yeah, or Moon. <laughs> yes. So. We also have another donation if we have time. Yep. All right, uh, we have $40 by Skelephile saying, when I saw that shotgun trick, I knew I had to donate. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was you. worth the time loss. You got money for charity. Yes, yeah. totally worth it. Can I get a cab? Yeah, there's a taxi. For some reason, I tend to get trolled here. I, like, there's just so much traffic, but it's never a cab. Take me to yeah. Yeah, it's it's. That's okay. Uh, so next up is high dive. This mission's fun. Yep. You uh have a massive shootout with a bunch of police officers and helicopters. Yep, and hopefully the helicopters don't splat me this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happened during practice. Oh, nice bonk, was it? Yeah, bonk that little, like, thing to turn around faster. Yeah, this is also a unique car to, uh, in the GTA 4 universe. Like, you only drive it in this game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, solid gold, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're riding with Mr. A-Rab money here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yusuf's a great character. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do like the, all these like crazy missions for him. Luis is just so chill about everything, it's great. Yeah. I don't know how ridiculous anything is. He's like kind of really nonchalant about everything. Yeah. Yeah, just floating through the world. Yeah, you can't like run at full speed in that interior, so you like jump a little bit. Just a bit faster. And also seagulls. Yeah, yeah, you're missing a lot of seagulls, I'm noticing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there's this cutscene. There's like one cutscene, and there's another cutscene of like a guy getting thrown out of the building that you can skip if you mash. And then there's police. Yeah. We so like mostly ignore the helicopters and just focus on the officers. Pretty good. Don't shimmy. <laughs> yeah, faster to climb up manually than use the ladders. Oh. Yeah, this is like ridiculous. This is again, this is like the fifth mission. Yeah. 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 Hopefully the helicopters will just uh, grind against the building and destroy themselves. You got plenty of health. Guess that guy isn't. I'll just shoot him. Yeah, but I say. Yeah, you've got a you've got a whole ladder climbing sequence. That guy just leaves. Yep. Yeah, he just goes away. <laughs> just never shoot him. He's sheepish SWAT guy. Yeah. Just hides around the corner. Yeah. yeah, there's this whole ladder climbing section. If there's like helicopters flying around, they just slowly whittle your health down as you're climbing this. Yeah, I actually had like one of them survive like from down there. So I had like two helicopters shooting at me for the oh, second man. part, and which is really bad. I mean, I have plenty of health because thanks to like, the shotgun strat for Fight Club, uh, you actually don't need to like take a dive, which would like mean that you're at half health for this part. Because so I'm actually at like full health. When yeah. I'm... Yeah. So yeah, it's like this. Like the helicopter is just gonna shoot at you, but uh, I'm just, I'll just ignore it. Yeah, it's funny you like climb faster than he goes upwards, so he kind of misses a lot of his shots. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, so you climb up here and the guy gives you a parachute and then you just uh, jump off. Yeah. And then you just land right outside the next mission. Yep. You push him off in the cutscene, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, he's so that guy's dead. Yeah. Open the parachute a little bit early because uh, safety. They don't, they don't splat. Yeah, splatting would be bad. Good. Next mission. Yep. Uh, this is golf, right? Yep. Okay, so we got all that bombastic stuff and now we're just gonna go play golf. Yep, I guess, you know, gotta play, gotta play golf. Golf's fun. Yep. There, are, there are a few fun things in this mission we do in this run, though. Yep. Yeah. Totally only golf, you know. No, no shooting is gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> just playing golf. Yeah. Like the golf minigame that they made for this game, I believe. Yes, it is gay Tony exclusive. Yep. And yeah, we just need to drive to the driving range and hit some golf. Simple. Yeah. Nothing can go wrong. Yep. Uh, what could possibly happen? Yeah, I gotta hit them apexes though. Yeah. yeah that, that pedestrian was my apex. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so we need to hit this guy who's in this caddy. And every time you hit him, he moves. Yeah. But if you're quick enough... Like there. Oh, that looks alright. Nice. So he, he hit him there as the taxi was still... Uh, the caddy was still moving. Uh, so it doesn't move a third time. Yeah. Yeah, normally you'd like he'd move him twice. But yeah. with that he only moves him once, which is nice. And the last one is really annoying as well, because he goes really far. And you, uh... Oh no, look, it's dudes to shoot. Yeah, wow, we really yeah. You have to kill exactly eight guys before Tony comes out of the door. Just, just, just kill the other car. car. Yeah. Wait, wait, really? Okay. Took forever. So uh, now we're driving the caddy. Uh, this is a really fun chase because of a glitch you can do. So in GTA 4, you can select guns using hotkeys. Um, but the thing is, uh, you're supposed to only better use certain weapons. One of them is like the SMG. But in this game, they give you, like, the gun he's been using, the P90 or whatever, is like a really big SMG that you're not supposed to be able to use in cars. So if you, like, scroll or, like, use console controls, you can't pick this gun. But if you just press the 5 hotkey on PC, you can use it, and the animation is totally broken, but... <laughs> yeah. So he just, like, totally contorts and his whole body, like, twists around. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's happening all the time in, like, cars as well when he's shooting, but you just can't see it, but you can see it so well in the golf cart. So, uh, shout-outs to not testing the PC version at all. Yeah, it doesn't work on console. Yeah, you just press 5, it's not a hard glitch. I don't wanna die in a golf cart. Yeah, like, yeah, if you just scroll weapons, this is all you get, but then you press 5 and... Yeah, you just have access to that. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, little drive here. He's taking a little shortcut. He's not following the guy you're supposed to follow, he's kind of, like, left of him. Rocco, and thankfully there's no traffic. Oh, yeah, none at all. Yeah, literally none. Yeah, nothing. BD zero? No, explosions are happening. He parks in the right spot, and then... And traffic density again. And then there's a cutscene, and now we just want to find a cab. Come on, let's head back to the apartment. Oh, you do a different placebo to me here. I, I look backwards. Yeah, that works too. Hey, you know, I'm really warming to that guy. Like a back case of crabs. Yep, so just... Get out of here and finish the mission. Uh, next mission is also going to have some strats uh, involving Armando. I love how you always smash the window every time you leave. Yep, uh, it's, it's my mark. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, th that aside, there is uh, like you can get like a faster animation exiting the car if you like do the uh, the whole like punch while running animation. Where he just like instead of accelerating, he just like goes to full speed right. almost immediately. Okay, okay. This is like, it. Let's see if I can. Uh, that's not it. It's kind of hard. Yeah. So this is kibitz number one, and there's a drive. But I don't feel like doing the drive. I was saying there's a cab, but you also can't take a cab normally because yeah, that's the animation by the way. And so so there's a cab and. Place a marker right there. Also, turn this down. Ah, my hands are so cold <laughs> from walking in the rain. 
Yeah, so we abandoned Mori and now we're gonna go. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, <laughs> restart the mission. Yeah, oh, I'll do it again. Yeah. I mean, that's not too bad. I don't actually know what you're doing here. I'm kind of interested. Oh, yeah, I'm 1VD now. It's fine. Just blame Swedish trains. Yeah, <laughs> it's all the Swedish trains' fault. Yeah, you were supposed to be here like half an hour ago. Yeah. All the trains got cancelled. Oh. That's just as smooth. All right, so that marker's still there, so I'll just do this. So now I'll do the proper thing, which is call, the Mar call, Ar call Armando immediately, that's nice. So now the mission has failed, and I also have Armando's gun van here. Okay, okay, so you're gonna set up the thingy. Yep. Yeah, so I'll uh, restart the mission and then talk to Ar Armando. But yeah, this time in a, I'm in a car, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, so I get teleported here. <laughs> it was screaming. Yeah, and the car just kind of dropped. Oh, sick. Okay, so you just teleport over it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what we call an Armando warp. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, you're now you're like right outside. That's a really long drive you just skipped. Yep. It saves a little bit less time than you'd think. It's like five, ten seconds, but still. Because the setup's uh, kind of long. Yeah, that's cool. Though. So now there's another shootout. Imagine that. There's like a rocket launcher guy at the top left. He has to kill. Yep. Yeah, there he goes. Because otherwise he like hides for ages. And he also has a rocket launcher, so we can kill you. Uh, come out of hiding, please. There we go. That was good. Yeah, then once you kill all the guys, then there's a boat chase. The game wants you to use like sticky bombs, but you can just do this. Do this. Yeah. Yep, there. <laughs> yep. Ooh. The animation is so good. <laughs> yeah, so. Instead of using sticky bombs, you can just like shoot the drivers of the boats and the boats blow up for some reason. Yeah. And that's good enough for the mission. So now there's just a, a long time, like a long boat drive just holding W. So if you have donations to read, that would be a good time. Oh, I do. We do have a huge donation of $100 by Devil777. Uh, kind of off with the numbers, I think. Uh, who says, love these GTA speedruns and the whole event. Keep up the awesome job, everyone. Uh, this is going to the Demon Souls Any% percent bid war to decide the fate of the Maiden in Black, and Devil has decided to spare. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we also have a donation by Vincent38 with $20 and no message. Uh, the donation is going to the crowd control run of Super Mario Kart, which is currently sitting at 1,516 out of 10,000. Yeah, I want to... Thank you. We need to hit that. And uh, maybe if we hit that, maybe we'll have to add another incentive or something. You know, ooh, I'm not leaking anything or anything like that. Yeah, who, you'd never leak anything. No, nah, I've never leaked anything, ever. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, thankfully the boat drives are perfect. So now your video editor warp before like the uh, the mission passed screen comes up. You no, just get out of there. No death warp? Nope. Okay. That's new. Yeah, so now we just take this car and we're, we're just going to uh, the mama's house again. Did you explain video editor warps? Um, oh yeah, I think, I think so actually. Oh. Also, I'll, I'll just call Tony just because he's going to call me later if I don't. So video editor warps are like... So in the PC version, they, they added this like, like clipping feature where you can like press F2 to take clips. It's kind of like a replay, but it's way less broken. Yeah. So, so along with that, they added like this video editor menu that's like a separate thing from the game that you access from the phone, like here. So like. So when you select the video editor, the, the game takes you to like out of the game and into like a different you know, like a program or screen. But if you like, like you can select video editor warp, or, or you can select video editor and then cancel it immediately, 
and because like you're not in the game, the game just like puts you at your nearest safe house, and that's what we call a video editor warp. Yeah, a lot faster than like death warping and all that stuff. Yeah, call Desi to uh, make them stop talking. Also, I can never skip this cutscene. You can. So, uh, Josh, Josh, skip. Yep, maybe. Okay. So there's gonna be a bunch of dudes that turn up in a minute. Uh, after we like examine the boat or whatever, so he's yeah. like preemptively setting up a bunch of sticky bombs that we got given earlier. When did we get sticky bombs? <laughs> uh, I think Mori gives them or something. Oh, for the boats, the yeah. boat chase. Yeah, 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 we didn't use them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I threw the couple sticky bombs to totally not random places. Uh, yeah. And then I pushed Enrique a little bit to get him moving. And once he hits those stairs, that triggers the next part. And now you have to be really quick. Yeah, he's getting suspicious that uh, you know somebody might be ambushing the deal. Yeah, so there's this guy up here. My nice shot. Yeah, so you know, like there's. Why is that on fire? What the hell? Oh, this is probably not gonna work because game is good. So there's like one guy that like the car spawned on fire. So I just I just can't do anything about this. Yeah, he's trying to like blow up all the enemies before they can even get out of their cars. And if he does it quick enough, he'll like skip a wave. Yeah, but uh, I can't do it because the one guy like bailed out of the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this would have been perfect, but yeah, he did everything right. Just wow, why did it spawn on fire? That's so weird. I do that sometimes. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Then I just have yeah. to shoot these guys, which is lame. Yeah. This is why this strat sucks. Yeah, it's called uh, Josh Skip because I accidentally did it in a run once. What? Where is the... It's that guy. Oh, it... God. <laughs> Can I even get over there without, like, failing the mission? I don't know, actually. I was going to say that. I hope so. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, game's good. <laughs> yeah, how did it spawn? Did it spawn inside, like, a traffic car or something? Yeah, you just chill in there, you know? Cool, yeah, good. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, yeah. I should have, like, skip, been able to skip the last wave. Like, I did everything, like, as I, as I should, but, yeah, it's just a game. <laughs> oh, well. At least they... What, what are you doing, Enrique? Just get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for your friends to get in. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, they were waiting for me, and then I, like, got out for something. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> you got tired of waiting for, like, that one second. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't show up Josh Skip, but, yeah. I mean, it's not very visually impressive. It? Just, yeah, it's just, just it's things just, don't spawn. Yeah, it's like, oh, you skipped a thing you didn't see. Oh. Yeah. Are you going to do the cross the train track thing? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I don't blame you. I estimate it's tight enough as it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially with the trouble you had at the start. Yeah. For another, charity, though, so it's fine. Another GTA run going over rest of it. Imagine my shot. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> that could yeah. have been dangerous. Yeah, he's like on rails, so you can't interact with him at all. He just shoves you out of the way. Yep. I mean, you gotta like wait for this guy to open the door anyway. Yeah, it won't do that. So while we're still in that cutscene, set BD to 100, and there's a cab. Nice. Yes, yeah, all the save. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so next one is uh, Bang Bang, uh, which also has a new strat. Okay. So... Oh, is yeah. it more taxi warps? Yes. Okay. So, should we explain taxi warps? I mean, again? Uh, well... No, I'm just, I'm... The, 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 so, okay, the way it works is that when you put a marker down... Mm the taxi tries to take you to it and it like cues up the action of going to it uh, so what you do is you put the marker down you make him start to go towards the marker uh, and then here in this case he just finds the closest like AI node that the AI is used to drive around the road it finds like the closest one and teleports to that instead um, but if you if you put the marker down then you queue up the warp and then pause immediately and remove the marker it tries to check if the marker is an illegal spot or not. And because the marker doesn't exist, it's just like, oh, it must be an illegal spot. 
Uh, and then it just lets you teleport wherever the hell you want. So you're gonna... Oh, not here. Yeah, it's I'll do plane. it for the last one. Okay, yeah, yeah. So these are just normal taxi teleports. Thank you very much, yo. And then, yeah, he's gonna, like, try to set it up so he, like, removes the marker at exactly the right time in a second. So he's gonna plonk it down somewhere in the airport. Uh, like here -ish. Yeah. And he gets in and immediately... Yep. That might be sketchy. Yeah. Oh, you got it. So he like queued up the teleport within the taxi menu and then immediately removed the marker so the taxi didn't know what marker to check was legal and it just mm. it just teleports you there. And I want sticky bombs like around here-ish. Yep. Okay. So yeah. then so he's gonna drive out and like spawn the plane. Yeah. So he has a pla so there's supposed to be a plane there, but it doesn't spawn until uh, I've hit this marker. And immediately as it does, I'm gonna yeah. detonate the sticky bomb and just instantly blow off the plane. Nice. And now I just need to escape the cops. Hopefully don't screw me, please. Yeah, there's a convenient little forest over here that's normally pretty good for escaping them. Yep. Although there is one right on the motorway. Mm. Uh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Is he gonna see you? Just gonna go under him. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, he went the other way. Good. Yeah. 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 So I'm just gonna chill in this forest for a minute. No, I can just drive off there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's no cops, yeah. Ooh. Oh, taxi. Oh, you got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna cancel this, and then I'm gonna call Armando and cancel it immediately, so it cancels the end of mission call. Oh. Yeah, man. So, if I didn't do that, the call would probably come, like, right around here, yeah. and I probably have to like listen like I'd ha I'd have to go slow while waiting to like cancel it so it's just better to do that so this ain't checkers uh, this is a pretty straightforward mission no uh, glitches or anything like that uh, you just drive this buffalo to a place then you uh, parachute down to a boat you do a boat race and then a car race immediately after so, this is a pretty good time to read donations, or if you have any other messages you want to read. This is going to be like seven minutes of this. I would just like to remind you about the cause we are raising money for, which is Alzheimer Fonden. It's not certain what causes Alzheimer's, but plagues that are distributing the neurons and their signal pathways are the prime suspects. Upcoming drug treatments can hopefully eliminate the plague and slow down the progression of the disease. You might want to reread that word, War. <laughs> it's a plaque. <laughs> a plaque. I know okay. what you're reading, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're like, um... Outside of Fondon is a really cool charity. They're like the they 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 distribute funding to like directly to like scientists and stuff who are all researching Alzheimer's and dementia stuff. Um, they have a. I'm doing your job for you now, Water. What does it say on the piece of paper? How much is there? Is it on the the list where like the percentage of uh, funds they can actually give out that they get like grant requests and they can only they only have enough money to like fund a small percentage of them. He's like I don't frantic. really see the percentage here. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I'm I'm thinking of something. I'm setting you up for failure by <laughs> trying to quote <laughs> things that I'm not reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, they, they need more funding, basically, is the long short of it. To, to, like, satisfy all of the requests for, like, funding all the scientists are asking for. Yeah, so it's definitely a good cause to, uh, you know, get scientists more money to do more research. Landing on this boat. Yep. Yeah, we're clapping for it apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the fastest boat that you can pick here. Yeah. Um, also, shout outs to uh, Bwom. Bwom. <laughs> Bwom. <laughs> I love the sound effect of hitting these markers. It is pretty satisfying, yeah. Yeah. And these markers are pretty huge, so you don't need to, like, exactly hit them. Yeah, it's Rockstar doing the thing where they show, like, a small cylinder like visually, but the actual hitbox is like whatever they want it to be for each marker. You just kind of have to know how big it is. Womp. Yeah, Womp. Yeah, this is like the only... I don't know, this is a pretty boring part of this game, right? Just this. Yeah. 
It's like driving this boat. Is there any really? There any other? Uh, there's a few boat drives you have to do. I mean, it's GTA 4. You just yeah. they make you drive boats a lot because you know yeah. rivers. Yeah. Got to use that content. Yeah, and oh, I guess this boat is particularly bad because it like turns really terribly. Yeah. You have to start turning really early, otherwise you just don't won't make the turn. Yeah, thankfully this is mostly straight. Um, oh, I guess now I could talk about uh, uh, shoutouts to uh, Lord Moore for this sick scarf he gave me. It's a it's an in joke. I'm wearing a scarf for Ballad de Gaetoni, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it has like all of my emotes and stuff on it, in, like black and white. You see? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nice. Or is it Joshua? It's not, yeah, I know he didn't do that one. Ah. We've got anime emotes and Josh Tosh and stuff. <laughs> of course, the anime emotes. There's Josh SA on the back here. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. <laughs> Josh Banks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Where can I get that one? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> $200 in the merch store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, handmade, personally. I don't know how we made it. I have no idea. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's not handmade. <laughs> but it's still cool. Um, I guess if we're talking about merch, we could shout out uh, speedrunstore.com. Again, doing Walter's job for him. Speedrunstore.com. Uh, yeah, ESA has like a merch store. And I think there's... I think... Uh, I don't think... I know this event, all revenue from the merch store is also going to Alzheimer Fonten. So if you uh, don't just want to purely donate for a chance to win like prizes and help incentives and stuff, you can also just buy a thing. Yeah, you can get like shirts and stuff. Yeah. There's some cool things. My favorite is the uh, the bootleg logo. It is like the official logo of the ESA board game room for a few events back. Where a poker tried to, he drew like the ESA logo on a whiteboard, but it was all scuffed and messed up. <laughs> we put it on a shirt. It's great. Uh, okay, caps lock apparently. Oh, you yeah, have a thing to talk about nitrous. Yeah, so this car has nitrous because, like, this is a triathlon, and yeah, I guess they wanted you to have nitrous for it. Not for any other time, though, but so you uh, you can do a thing where you start the nitrous, but then you pull up your phone, so you, the nitrous actually doesn't run out as long as you keep the phone held up. Like this. Yeah. It does keep, keep going. The, the camera effects don't happen, but he is actually still going faster. Okay. Oh, oh god damn. Oh. Alright, a few more corners. Yeah, thankfully there aren't too many corners here. Yeah. It's oh. GTA 4, so the driving physics are like really realistic. realistic. <laughs> yeah, also, uh... What was I gonna say? Uh, oh, like, okay. Uh, comics, you're off the hook. Thanks for this cab. Yeah, normally I set VD to 100 here, uh, but apparently I just get lucky. Yeah, why, why change vehicle density if you just find a cab as the one and only car on the street? Yeah, and usually I don't get that one. Yeah. But yeah, also I wanted to say that the rate at which the nitrous refills is uh, frame rate dependent, and <laughs> like the more frames you have, the faster it will refill. Uh. So like on console, it's like super slow. But on PC, it refills almost immediately. <laughs> I guess we should say uh, shout outs to the PS3 version of this game. Yep. It runs at like 15 FPS, but just has motion blur set to the max, so you can't tell. It's it's great. I did like 100% of all the th all of these three games on PS3 and uh, never again. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, also dialogue. Yep. This is, uh, well, I, we're a little early, but the dialogue in this mission is great. Between uh, Grace, Gracie? Yeah, Gracie. Yeah, and uh, Luis. <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, a lot of crossover between like the stories of the GTA 4, like the main GTA 4, and like the expansion. Yeah, expansion. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say DLCs, but that's not that's not really the right term. <laughs> yeah. Good traffic. Yeah. There's like no cars. Shouts to simulated phone on the speaker noise. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely uh, reminiscent of the era. Yeah. Is the voice line. Roy Coming. sees a homo? He ain't a very good one. I never would have guessed it. Yeah, well, they don't wear a label on their head. Oh, look at this 
<laughs> so good. All right. Oh, my boy, yeah. <laughs> Turns out it's a two. <laughs> two VD. <laughs> Instant cap. Hey, there we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you only, get out. It's funny, because you're only literally going down the road. Yeah, but also get it for the next mission. Yeah, yeah, the next one. I used to just park the car in the middle of the road and just pray that a taxi got stopped by it. Yeah, I guess this is a little, like a little bit faster. Yeah, it, it is if you a taxi that fast. This is not a good drop-off, though. Probably going to have to find a new one. He's just going to drive off. Oh yeah, the strat, yeah, in, in the expansions with GTA 4, you can use the, like, store clerk's computer. You don't yeah. have to go to an actual computer, <laughs> just use his. Where are the taxes? There's one. Call Armando again to make it so the next marker appears a bit quicker, to skip because of the skipped end of mission phone call. Yo, yeah, that guy's headset. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just waiting for the next Tony mission. There we go. Yes, for some reason it takes like a few seconds to appear. Man. Okay, fine. And if I was uh, slower here, I would get a different mission as well. But this is uh, this is diamonds. Frosting on the cake. Yeah, this is another <laughs> crossover mission. Crossover mission no, between here. GTA 4, uh, Lost and Damned, and this. I tried to do fun stuff in this mission with the, the gun van or the gun shop menu thing, but it's uh, Rockstar are evil people and they programmed a failure state so you can't just like leave Tony in this mission. Yeah. Otherwise, you could just like drive to the end or something. Yeah. Yeah, because like at the first start stage of the mission, you're like with Evan, like Tony isn't with you, but for some reason, they just like programmed a failure state for abandoning Tony even though like you're not supposed to be able to get off the limo like in the first place in the next section yeah very strange yeah it's like an auto scroll where you're like locked in the van uh, the, the limo yeah nice uh, boost yeah it's not as strong as in GTA 5 right yeah you save like some seconds here and there but yeah also as you saw in the first mission you can just get flipped yeah in, in certain places Two million dollars worth. I just feel. Yeah, this drive is pretty fun actually. Like in the limo. Like the limo is like the best limo in any GTA game. Yeah, it actually handles pretty decent. Yeah, it's like the the shafter, but it's just extended. Yeah, yeah. Nice baby. Yeah, so we made it here, and then you're gonna get ambushed by a bunch of bikers, and you get to throw sticky bombs. Yeah, I didn't know the Lost had so many uh, gang members. Yeah, they, uh, they definitely don't after this mission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was some uh, experimentation going on during ESA to like use the whole like portable weapon shop thing to like break this mission, but uh, we haven't come up with anything just yet. So. Yeah. So you can like you can get out of the limo and you could just like run away uh, with it because you could like regain control of Luis while like in this vehicle. But yeah, it's like if you go too far away, you fail the mission. Uh, you could like actually get in. You can you could like throw the driver out and get in the driver's seat, but the limo's on rails and you can't actually control it, which is unfortunate. I just had a thought. Can you, in your, in the phone, can you open a camera app? Or is that only in that one mission in GTA 4? You can. Would that not give you the camera back? No, we tested that. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> just trying to think of things. Yeah, that was an idea Oasis had. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there are like, yeah, just a bunch of. Okay. Okay. Just shoot that. I guess so. Actually, the limo is explosion proof. Yeah. Yeah, in this mission we're just like blowing up a bunch of dudes. There's a little strat at the end where you manipulate how many satchels, satchels you have. Also, you blow up that seagull. That's mandatory. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, but yeah, there's not much happening. So if you have any donations, apparently you have five. <laughs> no. So uh, now's a good time. Go. Oh, we do. We have two donation by Bones the Third. One is five dollars, saying, "Oh yeah, high water, good stuff." Uh, howdy. 
uh, the other is ten dollars saying ain't that a speedrunning dream team for me love you all thank you uh we have ten dollars by anonymous saying good morning esa oh and in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night hello do we have time Hi. for more yeah. uh right. maybe not quite just just can you wait a little bit yeah he's got a so he needs to blow up this helicopter and kill these two bikers but we need satchels for the rest of the run uh so what is happening every time he consumes all of his satchels he gets given 10 more mm. so he wants okay he's got one okay there goes yeah, yeah so i have one satchel left so i'm just gonna throw it and then i get given 10. yep and then he st sits at that and just now we have 10 for the rest of the run yeah get a free refill yeah i'm holding enter to like skip the uh the cutscene here immediately and then you have to escape the cops and then i'm going to attempt to shoot this cop here and so the way this works is that when you commit a crime inside a circle, it actually moves the circle to where you committed the crime. So the idea here is that, all right, so it moved. So you commit the crime like further back in the circle and then you drive away from it. And as you're driving, the circle just moves away from you and you can lose the police faster. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Good chase, no cops spawned. Yeah, so that's diamonds. So now I'm... We're doing the next Tony mission. Uh, it's frosting on the cake. You keep calling it the meme name. Yep. It's I mean, not called diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you go over there and turn around so that the uh, next Tony marker spawns. If you just go straight here, it it won't spawn. Yeah, you're too close to it. And there's a hex that we need. So this is Boulevard Baby, and another mini game that uh, Rockstar created specifically for this game. There's a small, like, short drive to another club, and I'm gonna pull up my phone here and have a Desi on speed dial, uh, so I can skip some dialogue at this next marker. So you you ring Desi and hold enter into this marker, and you just like kind of teleport out, skip oh, some dialogue. Yeah, I feel about that. Also, there's totally not copyrighted music here. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, have fun, whoever is gonna edit this to put it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, this mission it, or this music is here even if you uh, yep, turn off music. Yeah, he has music turned off. Yeah, because yeah. this is like a rhythm game. You're supposed to dance with this girl. This mission that makes no sense without context. Yeah. So you go to like this random club, dance with this random girl, and then a bunch of people are angry at you. Yeah. Um. Should we hand back the donations while you're dancing? I can just explain this right quick. Sure. So, so you just press like A or D uh, to the rhythm of the music. I'm doing very well at the moment. And then when it tells you to hold, you just hold either A or D. And then you use mouse buttons to get like bonus score when they display the prompts. Yeah, now donations go. We have two anonymous donations. Uh, one is $10, which is going to the crowd control run of Super Mario Kart, and one is $50, which is also going to the crowd control bonus run. How are you, Warrior? You Thank right? you very much for those generous donations. <laughs> I've been doing a bunch of fundraising things. Water, do you want to do some commentary things? How, how are you doing? <laughs> Uh, I think this dance is looking very great. You're doing good, Omega. <laughs> yeah, that, was, uh, that wasn't too great, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but you got a kiss, so I think it's a success. He's yeah. getting more than that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we skipped the cutscene, so you don't get to find out. Mm. Um, yeah. Sad you can be here, Water. We've had a lot of fun. A lot of memes. I'm wearing a scarf, dude. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's a guy that spawns here. It's the best guy in the game. You just... Hold <laughs> yeah. left mouse and shoot and you kill him, I shot him. So this there's this box here and uh hey, what's your lineup for this? This? Oh okay. Oh that <laughs> works just instantly, okay yeah. sure. Yeah, so you get to like the far corner of the box and then you like look at the, the monitor, like where there's like this what do you call it? Like there's a line pretty much yeah. that you look at and then you jump and cancel it and then you click pretty much every time. 
Yeah, you just fall out of bounds, but thankfully the subway system is right underneath you. And yep. Yeah, you're, what you were supposed to do, you're supposed to escape the club, but there's like a bunch of dudes and people running around and everything. Um, and then you have to like avoid, get out of, uh, get away from the club. But it's way easier if you just go into the subway and just run north. Yeah, it's it works out very well. Yeah. Who found that? I don't remember. It's a really old strat. Uh, no, actually. Still a fun way to go. So now I'm just waiting for a call to start uh, block this part two. It's uh, it used to be like a big, like RNG, like run killer, or like whether you just get this call or not. Because if you don't get it first try, you just tend to get all the random junk calls that don't really do anything, as well. Tone. T. Oh, T, bro, that's the right one. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I set up the taxi ward before like the call come in, so oh, I damn. can just instantly <laughs> teleport to the <laughs> helipad. At least you didn't spawn in the helicopter like I did once. Yeah. <laughs> and then just flings the helicopter across the helipad and you have to hope you can take off. Yeah, usually you fail the mission if you do that. Yeah. So yeah, now you just fly up towards uh, Happiness Island. The Celebinator. Is the Celebinator in GTA 5? I think so. I don't think what is it. I don't know, but anyway. Probably he's referenced at least. Yeah, yeah. Like Can I jump in with a donation? Or... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Fallen Angel, uh, sorry, Fallen Angel has just donated an enormous three hundred and one dollars, oh, which damn. puts Ooh. our total at sixty-seven thousand. Oh, sick! Sick! Ooh. Hell yeah! Thank you. Yeah. Right, thank so. you very much. The message is sixty-seven thousand ESA hype. Nice. nice. Yeah, so now you throw this guy at the helicopter, but you actually don't want to kill him, you have to catch him, so you kind of see where he is. Yeah. And just kind of land on top of him, then you catch him, and then you just have to land. Yeah, real risky uh, torture strats. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he pisses his pants, it's fine. He'll live. And that's, that was pretty good. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then you're in Happiness Island in the middle of nowhere, so it's faster to just video it or warp. Or you can death warp if you want. But you, like here you also, like always, like the video editor warping is a bit faster. Uh, I guess we should explain that uh, I'm playing on the complete edition, uh, which is normally not the case, but actually with the complete edition you get the faster video editor warps because like in the original in the original version you get this like a little lag uh, mm. when you select the video editor menu so you can't like cancel it instantly but in complete edition you can so that's why you play complete edition there's no other uh, differences between the versions as far as I know like with, with regards to uh, gate Tony at least in GTA 4 there are some it's like one of the few instances where like a newer version of a GTA is actually better for running. Yep. Yeah. Of a taxi warp. Yeah. Oh, that might be a bit too early. Yeah, you're going to the vehicle, right? No, nope. oh, no, you got it. It was like probably yeah. the first frame or something. Hmm. All right, so this time you can actually. This actually works out re really well because the taxi is just gonna hopefully wait for us here. Uh, He's kind of stuck in this helipad, he can't really go anywhere, so uh, <laughs> we just we just have some business. I'll be, like, be right back. Yeah. Yeah, just let me get in his chopper and fly to a place. Golden buzzard, just casually. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's that, that oil money. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is another one of those crossover missions. So this you, is the crossover mission, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, where the diamonds are exchanged, or attempted to be exchanged. Like, I think you even see, uh, like, Luis and uh, stuff in, like, the original GTA 4. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It looks totally different, though. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, before this game, mm -hmm. you know, came out. But I guess they already had, like, the whole plan for Yeah, that. he's just kind of chilling there, and then he, like, shoots some dudes. Shame you can't shoot them yourself, you know. Would have been nice, I guess. But then, then you just leave. Oh. What the hell was that? <laughs> just kind of... Probably just the camera being weird, right? Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> If you want a police helicopter in this game, that's the only place to uh, to steal one. Oh, I didn't think about that. 
the, yeah, the, the vehicle hunters. Yeah, that's a thing. Rare vehicle. Luis. Hmm. Yeah, so now you fly between those buildings to uh, hopefully get some of these choppers to blow themselves up. Oh, there's one. Yeah, you got rid of one. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to die. There he is. And... There'll be one more, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is slightly slow. It's fine. Yep. Oh! One spawned over there. Nice. Great. Oh, so we're chilling. Oh, is he dead actually? Or did he just take his furl off? Nice duel. Yeah. There we go. I was just right on top of the, uh, the helipad. Pretty much. There's so many missions in this game where you escape the police by just killing them. Yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb. Also, there's the taxi. Just, you know. Yeah, yeah just chilling. Wait yeah. for you. Yeah. He Boil. has to maneuver around a bit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Autosave, okay. Yeah. Uh, or he's not. Oh, he's not there. What? He just left. Oh. Okay, well. That's unfortunate. I haven't had that happen before. Did you spook him, maybe, by shooting too hey, close or something? Yeah, like the dogfight was too close to him or something. Maybe. Yeah. Guess, uh... We're getting another one. It's that one, yeah, that's one. I mean, at least you get a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's better than just being dumped there. You could just video it a bit after. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Because, like, there's no wait here. You just want to go to the next mission as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well. This is it. Thanks, man. Yeah, this is going deep. Uh, very good mission. Very good. Definitely no way to softlock this mission at all. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, where you're introduced to Bulgarin, the uh, the big bad from GTA 4. And you actually do missions for him in this game. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I, I will refrain from shooting him because getting a wanted level would be uh, not good. Here's one of those weird situations where okay. this this mission gives you like a really bit. It gives you a machine gun. Yeah. But the Bolgren voice line, he says he gives you sticky bombs. So I think what happened here was like they got Bolgren, the voice actor, to record all his voice lines, and they planned to give you sticky bombs in this mission. But then later down the line, they've changed it so he gives you a machine gun instead. But they couldn't re-record Bolgren's voice lines, so they just get that your like uh, you get Luis's voice actor who they have all the time because he has to do loads of lines. They just get him to be like, no, actually, I'll have a machine gun. It doesn't make any, the conversation makes no sense. Was the only way they can justify not actually giving you <laughs> the thing that Bolgren says he's giving you. So this is unlucky. Yeah, the police officer. So uh, you you can get through the toll booth without a wanted level, but. Yep, just randomly got one. And now I'm being chased because there's somehow two cops on the uh, on the bridge, which never happens. <laughs> like, seriously? That one vehicle didn't steal. Uh... Yeah. Never happened before. I mean, it's literally never happened before. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, where he's going, there's like a police station right outside. And they're chasing me still. Oh, 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 these guys are persistent. Yeah. Well, because you didn't pay the toll. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you should blow them up and then leave, leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Only. Yeah. And also, this guy's stuck here, which is... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's going to see you. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is fun. <laughs> How do you get out of this? <laughs> Guess you go down here. There was one on foot there, I think. No, it's it's like oh, he's in the subway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Jesus, these guys. Okay, surely they haven't followed you all the way over here, right? One star, by the way. Yeah. Should have just yep. paid the toll, dude. There you go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> usually, even if you don't, like, even if you do get a wanted level, you don't get like two cops. And you can just, you know, go to the, like, you, you'll lose the wanted level if you just, like, wait for just a tiny bit. 
Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, GTA 4 <laughs> happens sometimes. I think of all the GTA games, 4 does have the best police chase system. Because mm. in 5, they just magically know where you are when you're hiding. Oh, no, you're throwing stickers. Yes. Okay. In places that I don't know, actually. Uh, view distance, 100. A? Eh? <laughs> uh, stuff. Okay. I'll explain okay. later. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, throwing sticky bombs to uh, make preparations for a bunch of dudes coming in. Uh, call Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf. <laughs> this is your man, Yusuf. Yeah. I'm waiting for an audio cue. Yep, that's them coming. So, those sticky bombs I planted are gonna be detonated now. There they go. So there's then there's two more SWAT vans that'll that'll come in. They'll kind of in each other. Um, don't worry about it. And there's one more that's gonna come here. Yep. And then there's one FIB car that's coming this way. Yep. Good. And then there's this one more uh, SWAT van that's gonna come and drop a couple dudes off. Not gonna blow this one up, just gonna kill the, the people. Heads? Okay. Yeah, so the reason why I set the view distance to 100 is because... So... When... When you do that part, there's a chance that there's a random cop spawn on the road, and when you kill the la or when you shoot the last uh, SWAT guys, you'll actually get a wanted level, which means that you can't take a cab back. But I found that uh, if you set a view distance to 100, the cop never spawns. That's a good placebo. Yep. <laughs> never. I mean, it used to happen to me like around 50% of the time, I would just get a wanted level when I shot the the SWAT guys, <laughs> but. With view distance 100, it just it just never happens. Okay. Yeah. This this is uh, some, for some reason a cutscene you can only skip with space, not sp enter. Even though like pretty much all other cutscenes are skipped with enter. So I don't know. Yeah, run run to that uh, trash can and then the marker appears for the next Bulgarian mission. And dropping in. So in this mission, you're supposed to take a helicopter and, like, fly to a place. So first we're gonna do a little tele tele teleport to the helipad. There we are. Nice. Yeah, so we get in this heli, uh, Timur. Nice. <laughs> Taking a little nap. We're waiting. All right, there we go. All right, so now we fly, fly towards, like we, we get some height and fly towards the city. Then we're gonna parachute into a building, kill some dudes and leave. So I guess if there are donations, now would be a good time to read them. Why there are indeed. Uh, we have another donation by Fallen Angel with $5 saying, here's some money for the total. Maybe that will get the cops <laughs> off your back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> then we also have another donation by Misu with ten dollars, saying, "So, is it po is it possible to actually master GTA 4's handling physics?" Asking for a friend, donating towards the Super Mario Kart bonus run. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I think GTA 4 physics is uh, quite good actually. I like it quite a lot. Yeah. A lot of people really don't like it, but because people are used to like arcadey. Handling in like GTA games. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, the, all the cars handle like boats, but that's what non downforcey cars handle like in real life. So. Yeah, it's, uh, you just have to think of it as a challenge. Yeah. Like you're driving a racing car or something around the city. Yeah, just gotta take the racing line. Yeah. Yeah, you don't actually need to land in the marker, you can just kind of land here. And the camera sees you anyway, which is, yeah, nice. Yeah, so now the, all the dudes in the building are alerted, and you just need to kill them. So I, I like this mission, actually. It's a pretty fun shootout. 
Yeah. Isn't there some kind of out of bounds strat here that doesn't quite work? Yes. Uh, it's like you can clip out of bounds. I forget exactly where, but uh, I think it ends up saving any time. Also, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, I remember seeing the video, I just. I just don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this building's pretty cool, but kind of looks like Half Life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're just in, like, the. Not public facing area of the building, right? So it's all utilitarian. Yeah. You block, yeah. uh, you shoot this window, and then you throw a sticky bomb because there are like a bunch of people in that room, and you want to kill like the guy who your target is without like getting harassed by the other dudes. You, mm. you just throw the sticky bomb and run out. Where, uh, where are you going? <laughs> and we're gonna we're going to get a taxi. Like okay. you don't also don't need to land on the truck. You can just uh, like if you miss the truck, they're just like, he's just like uh, yeah, I can't wait for you. Just go. Like good luck. Um, but there's a 100% consistent cap that spawns here, so you can just take that to the next mission. Here we are, huh, Thank you very much, yo. I mean that. Then you lose, like, whatever other things were trying to chase you there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like, as long as you get out of the area, it's fine. Yeah, I still need that taxi, so... <laughs> that's one way to get him to stop. Yeah. You can't skip that phone call, you have to take it. Yep. I think there's even a failure there, it's like, you okay. didn't answer Yusuf's phone call or yeah, something. Yeah, <laughs> because I've accidentally done it in 100% run before, yeah. <laughs> just kept denying the phone call because I was trying to chase a taxi down. Yep. And then I just failed the mission. So yeah, here's another crazy uh, Yusuf mission, where, like, first you fly a helicopter, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to inter intercept, like, a like a news tank. Uh, actually, one similar to the one that chased you in one of the previous auto scrollers yes. so yeah so you fly like way out then you like shoot a bunch of wires to drop the uh, drop the tank and then you actually have to kill a bunch of police officers it's like another one where you're just like yeah just like kill the cops and and you'll lose them like, okay This is a fun little mini game to play. And by fun, I mean terrible. Yeah, like in San Andreas, you have to lead your shots uh, yeah. into these tiny targets. You're in, you're, so you're in here, and can you lead the shot? That doesn't make any sense either. Yeah. Because like you're both traveling at the same horizontal speed, so why do you have to aim slightly to the right? Yeah. Also, uh, oops. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, that's intended. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. This is another checkpoint abuse. So yeah, you, you spawn here, but you can retry the mission. And when you retry that mission, it always puts you at the this different location, and it there's way better police spawns on this little highway. It's also on the island you want to finish on as well. Yeah, so you don't need to like cross a bridge and yeah. do a whole lot, whole lot of dumb stuff. Oh, taxis. <laughs> yep. Hey, there's a cop. So, yes. uh... so now you need to blow up... I uh, forget how many it is. It's like... It's like 7652? Uh, yeah, something like that. So about like just under 20 police vehicles. Yeah. Except helicopters. Helicopters don't count for some reason. Yeah, so you kind of just uh, try to spawn them in. Um, yep. Yeah. It's another lose the police by killing all of the police. Yep. Mission. Yeah, some spawns. But yeah, these are some... Like, the spawns in this area are just way better. Yeah, yeah, it's already like... Six or seven police cars you've got there. Yeah, I know. Like when the police car sets on fire, sets on, sets on fire, you can ram it to make it blow up faster. But it's a bit risky because the the SWAT tank actually loses health every time you do that. So you can't do it too many times. Jesus, these spawns are incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's good though. Yeah. 
Yeah, so he's down to three stars. He needs to blow up a few more, and then he'll go down to two stars. Once he gets to one star left, he can either just exit the area or blow up two more police cars. I should be ramming these things. So yeah, now it's already down to two stars. It's two more there. Yes, oh, no. Oh, yes. More not. <laughs> I hit a nice wheelie from that cop car there. Yeah, they, they can also hit like other objects and blow themselves up, or they can hit each other and then they blow themselves up. Yeah. Wait, I'm already like, need to lose the cops. Yeah, you, you just blow two more and you'll be done. Yep. Blow up that last one, there you go. Yep. Zoom in. That was very fast. Yeah, and he did it all while being right outside the next mission, obviously. Yep. Or the ending, even. Because we know where the mission ends. Yep. Those were very good spawns. Yeah, that was really good. And I just kind of wait. 210, that's excellent. Nice. Submit it to the IO leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that counts. No, no, you did a retry, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then you just call Yusuf, and the next mission is right here. Uh, his last mission. This one's good, though. So we got, uh, we got a helicopter. Uh, it's the second one. The... Yeah, we got a SWAT tank. And there's only one logical uh, conclusion yeah. to this. Yeah, what's next? Well, I mean, a boat, but. <laughs> he doesn't get a boat. Yeah. Oh no, you blow up a boat for him. Yeah. And get a helicopter, yeah. yeah. Subway train. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, so Yusuf wants you to steal an uh, uh, authentic Liberty City subway train. Yep. For his, uh, yeah, for his, uh, wait, he's going to say it. Submarine train. <laughs> precious and delicate coral reef. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, he wants to have like a submarine, like marine aquarium thing yep. in, a sub in a subway train. Yeah, in the Gulf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna make those mad books, totally. Yeah, you can give an article the real deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna steal a train. Yep. Yeah. Whoa! Did you fly over the marker? Dude, nice. <laughs> uh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was the thing that happened. Yep. <laughs> Try that one again. Yep. So yeah, this is a really fun mission. It's like an auto scroller, but um, there's a glitch we can do to make it more fun. Yeah. So there's going to be a train. He's going to listen for it. Do you use the audio cue? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll shut up. Yeah, when the train horn sounds. There it is. As soon as the honk happens, you can yeah. jump. Um, so yeah, he's locked on top of this train, and all he can do is move forwards and not move. Um, yeah. Yeah, we the, need The movement speed is actually tied to FPS, by the way. Oh, that's why you're going so fast. Yep. Yeah, you're almost at the front already, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, now he's at the front of the train, all he has to do is live to the end. Yep. Uh, and he's going to do a, a glitch here. You may notice he's, like, spamming crouch when he's shooting. Uh, by doing that, you can, like, make break the rate of fire for the shotgun. So he, so he's, like, shooting, like, horrendously fast with this uh, explosive shell shotgun. Um, yep. So you just completely destroy these helicopters and they're just not afraid at all. As long as you can pull off the glitch. And the, there's a weird bit with it where afterwards Luis is like stuck in place for a little bit. So there's a bit of like downtime after you've done it. Yeah, yeah. also I'm cancelling the reload animation by crouching or like oh. going, going down on your belly. I didn't know that. I'm taking some damage. Yeah, you have a decent amount of health still. But you also, like you always take a bunch of damage at the end as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shotgun spamming is a thing in no like, some of the previous GTAs as well, but it's like on steroids in this. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember, does it work in five? Don't know. No. Bro. Yeah, it's sometimes you just. Sometimes you're just wiggling and nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wiggle, wiggle. Make the car go bigger. <laughs> also, yeah, you have to crouch under these or you die. Yeah. There's a, there's a fun strat come up as well. There's going to be a, a helicopter that uh, sits in front of the train 
And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to do this slow motion sequence where you like crouch underneath it and like avoid it hitting you. Um, but because we have crazy rate of fire, we can actually kill the driver of the helicopter before the sequence happens, uh, and then a funny thing happens. Yeah, they did. So, uh, oh, nope. you didn't get it. Oh, man. Oh. Well, we get the cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yep. Okay, All well, right. you, it only works if you kill the driver. If the helicopter gets destroyed, it doesn't work. Um, it's so dumb. What would have happened was that he would have just phased through the helicopter because yeah. it has no collision if the driver's dead. Um, you should be fine, you got plenty of health. At the end is like right here, you just need to kill these last few guys. Okay, uh, that's fine. And then Yusuf comes in with a crane helicopter and just picks up the train. Yeah, because why not? Yeah. Why he needed you to what? sit on top of it and everything before that, I don't know. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> why does he just pick it up? <laughs> oh, we, you need you to dis disconnect it. Yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Yusuf mission done. So, yep. next one is the last Bulgarian mission. Um, okay, cool. You got cut off. You got yeah, so this is, this is... I actually really like this mission. Here There's are, also man. a new strat Can here. I'm sure it will, won't go wrong. Okay. Yeah, in the crosshairs, so you take a cab and you're supposed to like go protect Timur, but it's actually a setup and they ambush you instead with a bunch of snipers and like a helicopter that you have to take out. I can't get any closer than this, so I have to drop you off right here. I'm gonna set VD before I enter this marker. And then I'm gonna be put on this roof with a bunch of people shooting at me. You're supposed to, like, snipe them, but the MG has pretty good range. Blah. Blah. Not one taps, unfortunate. Heads. Yeah, you get this uh, slow-mo thing. And the last one. Yep. Yeah, it looks a lot less silly when you're using the sniper rifle, because like, yeah. the sound is like... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, so then a helicopter about comes in, you shoot the driver, pilot, but then you get on this thing. Yeah, there's like a whole other sequence of sh stuff that's supposed to happen, but you just skip it by doing this. Yep, hey. and then you do this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> to ex escape the roof, that's the that's the new strat. It was also discovered like a week ago, and then there's a traffic jam here with a bunch of cabs. Hopefully they don't shoot at me to like scare the taxi drivers, so we just get out of here. That was good. Nice. So that like the there are also like more dudes that also spawn, and they shoot at you. And if they like shoot at the taxi, you get spooked, and you can't take it anymore. Yeah, yeah. By by dropping down there, he skips like a whole extra section where he's supposed to be shooting people and running over roofs and stuff like that. Yeah, what we did before, we used to like kind of like shimmy down like the fire escape. Yeah, but, yeah. We don't do that anymore. Really slow. It took forever. So yeah, here's uh, another. Uh, more emission and another Armando warp. Yeah, as I say. <laughs> so this time we want to go to like yeah. Don't need VD anymore. Cool. I'll... Yeah, cool. <laughs> Here we go. Tip, please. Yeah, call the Thank gun van. Yep. Get back in, and Armando is We're waiting for us. Down. Around here, this yes. Is it. Perfect. So, uh, again, same deal. Retry the mission, talk to Armando, and uh, just wait. Yeah, the camera is a little funky there. Again. Yeah, oh. there he is. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he did the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, say hello to H for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. Come on, taxi. Yeah, Look my line. <laughs> so yeah, now you're like really close to where the marker is instead of having to drive across the whole map. Yeah, plus you skip a toll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't want to yeah so you just, yeah, you're right there. And then we, uh... Get these cars down. <laughs> really pointless little mini game. Yeah. Where you have to like manually put the cars down yourself. 
if your FPS is high enough, you can like smash their cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the platform above it just phases through their car. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't quite enough high enough frame rate for that. Yeah, so here you kind of, like, you don't want to get ahead of them because then they'll actually go slower. So you just want to sk stick as close as possible behind them. Yeah, this is kind of an auto-scroller, I guess. But it's kind of difficult, actually, because... So you're driving this very fast car along this, like... Like, what do you even call it? Like, just this tiny piece of, like, riverbank or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. With a bunch of like small objects that can just like flip you or like throw you into the water, mm -hmm. they have to be really careful not to hit any of them. You like these tires and like trash bags and cardboard. It, it, they can just all screw over like these things. Yep. These poles. Yeah. Every single one of them will somehow flip you into the water. Yes. Yeah. So you just be you'll just be very careful when uh, driving around here. Yeah, that realism. Yeah, that like that cardboard can be bad. And then there's, if that wasn't enough, that there's gonna be even cops who like go out of their way to jump in front of you, to like flip you into the water. That little uh, camera take control away from me thing also throws me off every time as well. Yeah. That little, yeah, that little bit of wall there. There's like corner bits. Yeah, there's just randomly that flip you. It, so there's like a very like tiny bit of like space where you can like actually drive in this bit even though it looks like yeah there's plenty of space yeah that the hard part's over now yeah it opens up there yeah and then it's pretty much over once you uh jump into the the you know, ferries those you get the angle right <laughs> yep. i mean you just line it up with the the ramp and it's fine Yeah, that's gonna be the mission. Oh, whoa! <laughs> you you turned definition on, I think. Oh, what? Maybe. What was it supposed to be on or off? Actually, I don't know. What is happening? Hello. Hmm. Uh. Can I just do this. Is it just dead? Nice. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, you ought to say before this, right? I should hope so. <laughs> Just need to, uh... Uh, this is like for Darth Vader, yeah. Yeah, don't tell me that was because of, like, the extra settings change thing that happened. No, no, it couldn't be because of that. Uh, uh, now the game just really doesn't want to close. So it's, like, three down, I believe. <laughs> so three tabs, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> See, this is this is why I memorize the task kill command in command prompt so I can like if uh if a game ever like gets stuck like this like oh oh, oh what oh 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 it's still like not actually loading so <laughs> hmm that looks like an alt tab oh, oh, okay there you go you. okay <laughs> all right we finally managed to uh kill the game game is dead <laughs> oh yeah good game. Running. Oh, don't play. Okay, good. Yep. I'll <laughs> I get to see this mission again, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> while we uh, redo all this, we can have uh, some donations. Yep. All right. Uh, we have a $25 donation by Repetro saying, thanks for making this great event possible. Well, uh, thank you for the donation. This one is going to the Super Mario Kart Crowd Control Bonus Round Incentive. And then we have a $10 donation by a banjo saying, and now please cover your ears, Omega. Huva Suomi. Okay, that, that was the finished part. Yes, uh, love from good. Sweden, great run. Yes, very good. <laughs> well, we have uh, managed to open the game again, which is something. Yeah, that's a start. Ready for auto save. Yes. If you well, I was gonna say if you're lucky, it you could have auto saved after the mission. I mean, it, I it, it, so. it, yeah, it, it should have auto saved after in the crosshairs. Yeah, there we go. 
it's it's good it's good yeah so you right. just have to do that again yeah yeah, yeah we just ha i just have to uh, yeah do the yeah. setup again yeah, i think the uh the old estimate is a little uh forfeit at this point oh uh, it's it's whatever yeah i mean you've had you've had train problems you had technical issues yeah, yeah okay. i don't think this is well you pressed e at one point that was pretty yeah i mean that <laughs> that was my fault <laughs> but the rest of it hasn't been yeah the e press cost me like Four minutes, probably. Yeah. Hmm. The, uh, yeah, so you've got 154 then. <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh. <laughs> when there's another person in the taxi, they have to get out before you can teleport. Okay, this drop off. Luis is gonna stumble a bit. Uh. Stop! <laughs> Why is it? Oh, yeah. Stop! Come back! Oh no. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, he pulled over, he pulled over. This guy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Alright, so this time I'm not gonna freaking do anything. Yeah, taxis can be kind of jank, like, sometimes, uh, when you try to enter them, like, you have to hold the enter vehicle button to get in. So, like, yeah. he, has, he, he, like, tries to go to the driver door first, because, like, you know, that's the same thing to, like, enter vehicles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, stealing the taxi that you're trying to ride is a classic, yeah. classic, uh, thing that happen in runs. <laughs> At least we want to see that again. Yeah. It's good. It's good content. <laughs> Yeah, they actually. Yeah, so in, yeah, in this game, you tap F to get in a vehicle, and you have to hold it to steal the taxi. Yep. So yeah, you often accidentally steal the taxi you're trying to get. In GTA V, they swapped it, so it's like if it's a taxi, you have to hold F to steal it, which makes way more sense. Mm, yeah, this is unfortunate. Man. <laughs> yeah, this is a long mission. To, not the not the longest mission to fail, but or fail. It's right we at do. the end as well. Yeah, yeah. How many missions are even left? Like four after this. Oh, okay. Some of them are really fast though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, in the meantime, I believe we have a donation. Yes, read. to possibly cheer you up, I would like to announce that Fallen Angel has once again donated $300 Damn. with the comment Beat the Record ESA Hype. And this puts our total at $60,350, which beats the ESA Summer 2021 record, Damn. which was at $60,325. So thank you very much to everyone who donated. Thank you, Fallen Angel, for the massive donations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing good. I'm putting you on the spot, War. What's our next target? Our next target should be... Let me quickly check. <laughs> Frantic alt tabbing is happening. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't go towards the water. Yeah. Now uh, this mission is a uh, nerve wracker. Our next goal is ESA Summer 2018 at seventy-one thousand dollars. Okay. We should be able to do that. We got all day. Uh oh. All oh, you got saved by the pole. <laughs> and it's showing all the ways they can. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find this. He did it perfectly the first time. Now you're showing the the bonus content. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, no, <laughs> that was a little sketchy. Oh. Okay, you get a little away from that wall if you could. <laughs> it's like such a low wall, you can just drive over it. Uh, I'm gonna slow down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that cop can either dive away from you or towards you. Meanwhile, we just have uh, more good banter to yeah. appreciate. Or he's such a good character. He has a redemption arc thing as well at the end. If you, yeah, you get, like phone calls. It's your car, bro. If you want it, Ooh, that angle. Mm, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> right, so just okay. Don't do anything this game. Yeah. Maybe limit the FPS as well. I don't think, like, pretty sure, like... Ah, uh, who knows, right? Yeah. So it's just, it's just supposed to do that. Yeah, now it just works, yeah. <laughs> who knows, man. Good game. 
Uh, VD. I think there was a cab, but do this anyway. Yeah, there you go. All right, onwards. Onwards and upwards. What's next? <laughs> the helicopter. Oh. <laughs> also, oh, <man. laughs> I need to remember to get a text. There it is. We count in taxis. <laughs> sure. Okay. Let's do it for old time's sake. Yeah. Okay. So this mission is boring. Um, there's this is like a story mission. So. In base GTA 4, Gracie, well, in this game, Gracie gets kidnapped in both games. Um, in base GTA 4, you, Nico takes her to a place and she stays there for a while. And at some point, you have to like move her because the, the people discover where she is. Uh, in this game, we are the people and we have to discover where she is. So the way we're going to do that is by flying this helicopter around the city for like a good, what, like five, five minutes? minutes? Yeah. Um, and you like follow like uh, Packy, you drive his car around until he leads you to it. But it's just a whole bunch of like talking and flying. <laughs> yeah, also VD at 100, so it should be plenty of tabs. Yeah, when do we start tabbing? Uh, after the thingy starts. Okay. So yeah, I used to do this bit when I ran this game. I used to get really bored in this mission. So what I would do is I would count how many taxis I saw on the road. Um, I can't remember what the ranges of possible values were. I think it was like 50. Mm. Something like that. So yeah, people used to guess and try to guess how many taxis we'd see. Um, I say 55. Alright. Gonna go 60. Okay. I'll be on the taxi counting duty, I guess. You could uh, fly the heli. <laughs> this mission's fun than 100% though. We could talk about that. Uh, I mean, you can talk about it on counting taxis. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in 100%, you just there's a lot of seagulls that you can get during this, where you just like land the helicopter and just like get out and shoot a seagull. Like, like over there, there's one. Uh, then there are a bunch in like Middle Park, and then also in in Alderney, the third island. Yeah. The problem is you also you need to get out of the helicopter to do it, and you need to also keep chasing back in. So it's like a really tight timing. It makes this mission way harder. There's two taxis. Three. <laughs> there, were, there were like three earlier, but they despawned before I could tell if there were taxis on this one. There's four. Uh, look around. Just make it really difficult. I think there's five, <laughs> six. Follow you. No, I think those were the ones you already counted. Okay, okay. That one though. Yeah, that's five. There was six, seven on that bit. Oh, what the? <laughs> they just keep despawning. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. There's a bunch of taxis. Yeah, that's seven. Uh, sorry, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, there's one hidden yeah. behind the gas station. 15, that's our one like, on the, another. Oh, here we okay. go, here we go. 7, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 in the distance. 20, ooh, 5, 26, 27, yeah. Uh, 28, 29 over on the left. Find the tree, we're going to see him again. Yeah, those two. Uh, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, we're going to go over 50. <laughs> uh, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, the distance, 48, 49, I'm way off. <laughs> oh. 50, 51, uh, yeah, 52, 53. That one's not one. Can I chime in with a donation in yeah, the meantime? Yeah, sorry. Yes. Uh, Sui just donated $50 saying, Beating ESA 2018 hype. Uh, this donation is also going to the crowd control bonus run in Super Mario Kart. 69. Nice. 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 <laughs> We're up to 77. Right? Speaking of nice, we are just 
$2,020 away from the greatest donation amount. Oh, sick. Ooh. <laughs> Can we get to 69,420? Come on, that'll be... That's a good number. I lost count. 77 when I was at it. It's hard happened. to do commentary and count at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, probably not too many cabs in Alderney. 78. <laughs> there's one. Yeah. Many, yeah. many a cab was counted. There he is. Hmm. He's coming out of the tunnel on the Actually, I think that was your cab. Was no, he's just sat there. And could be, I guess. I won't be, won't be using it after this, though. Yeah. I'll count it anyway, 79. The best thing about this is that everyone will have different counts at the end. <laughs> We've just received another massive donation. Holy moly, yeah. $555 Damn. by Aetherothon. Five, five, five. Oh, my scarf fell off. Oh. Let's get the next milestone rolling, ESA hype. Thank you all for giving us god gamers to watch for a good cause. Hopefully we will see the Super Mario Kart run. Wish you all a good Saturday. And this is going, of course, to the Super Mario Kart bonus run incentive nice. of crowd control. Were we at 85? I forgot. <laughs> I lost count. I'm pretty sure it was 80 something. 80 something. Uh, I'm, it was way. Oh, 86. I think that was just there the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. Can't see 86. As soon as you regain control again, I stopped counting because I actually had to do stuff again. Not regain control, but regain freedom. Like now. Yeah, I don't know. 86, we'll say. That's uh, yeah, it was way more than I remember it being. Yeah, you can donate if you uh, if you, if your own count is uh, <laughs> different from Josh's. Someone will go back and watch the video and make a make a proper count. Yeah, so now we just land. make sure to donate with the amount of taxis you've counted. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there was uh, a thousand of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Yeah, so now we uh, take the heli. Whoa, game a helicopter. What is this, classic percent? Yeah, classic percent. <laughs> yeah, we're just uh, waiting for a phone call uh, to uh, start the next mission. So we just take the heli there, and uh, we'll probably have to wait a tiny bit. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. So, uh, why do you limit FPS when you're... Uh, is this for in-game time? Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, So the mission spawns quicker. Yeah. Hello, officer. It should be coming in any second now. Is it a bleep bleep? No, it's a ring ring. Oh, ring ring. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Hello. Yeah, oh, it, yeah, it's Rocco, yeah. Yeah, if I didn't take the, the text before this mission, I probably would have uh, gotten screwed by the... Uh, I would have probably gotten the text now, and then yeah. the phone call would probably would have, wouldn't have come in. Nice taxi. Yep. So yeah, annoyingly, this route puts all of the boring missions one after another. Yep. Uh, this mission, we just drive a boat to a place, story things happen that need to happen because they happened in GTA 4. And then we drive the boat back, and then the mission ends. <coughs> uh, you can teleport here, though. That's something. That's pretty fun, yeah. It's better than teleporting to the road and having to run with Tony all the way over it. Yep. That takes forever. Nice. Yeah, you can just... Oh, yep, now you drive through the jelly. Yep, <laughs> the oil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about how, like, like when this when these games came out, like, the water looked pretty good, but now it just looks awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, holy crap, reflections. I mean, these games, like didn't, movie. these games didn't age too badly, I don't think. Overall, yeah, but, like, yeah. the water is kind of like, like, noticeable. A lot of textures are low-res and stuff. But. It's not too low res though. No, I mean it's fine. It's like they didn't try to be too detailed. Mm. So some, of the, some of the vehicles have quite a lot of details on them. Yeah, clearly they put like a lot of time in that. Yeah. Because that's what you're looking at most of the time. Mm. They were practicing for GTA. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh yeah, like some of those models in online are like just insane, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I don't even know like 
polygon count or whatever, but there, there's like tweets out there. But yeah, so once you trigger this marker, you get a very very long load screen, and then there's a guy hanging onto your bow that you have to uh, shoot. And I limit the FPS here because if I don't, then the physics can do weird things. It's such a shame as well, because in GTA 4, this mission's really fun, because you're like running around with Packy in the yep. waste management facility, I think it is. Yeah, you do a whole big shootout yeah. with him. But, uh, but here you just like drive a boat, drive back. Yeah, in the story, we just, uh, Luis and Tony just run away. So that's what you have yeah. to do in this mission. Yep. Yeah. Said, there's only two more missions left after this, so pretty close to the end. Yeah, they're both really good missions as well. Yeah. I, don't, I think you haven't seen the uh, the strat for the next mission either. Zeb zebra chair? Nope. Oh. Zebra chair is no more. Not zebra chair anymore? I don't know if I want to see this strat. <laughs> okay, okay. I took them all. So yeah, this is, yeah, this mission, and then I find sticky bombs, death warp. <laughs> Lovely ragdolling in slow-mo. Yeah. yeah. The ragdolling, ragdolls in this game are great. So now you call Tony and Cab. There it is. Then you call Rocco. Uh, yeah, it's free. Good. And then you unlock the next mission. What do you do if it's not separate chair? <laughs> you just go out of bounds or some crap? Nope. Okay. Well, I'll see, I guess. Yeah, so in this mission, there's like a ton of dudes that's raid the club. Like Bolgren's dudes, because he's not happy with you anymore. Yeah, uh, because he's like, look, you either kill Tony or uh, like we kill you. Yeah. Uh, so what the well, old strat that I used to do was, was there was like a chair in the club that's like a zebra pattern, yep. zebra pattern, uh, and it was like the perfect shape and height for you to like hide behind it but still shoot over it, so you just get into a position where you just aim exactly where the guys are going to run in and you just shoot them all in the head as they run down the stairs. Um, so I'm really interested in what you're going to do. So we place this marker here because if you go to the, uh, if you taxi to the mission marker, then you, there's a chance that you can kill Desi. Like the cab ca driver can just run him over and you <laughs> fail the mission. Okay. And this load screen is long. It's loading a lot of dudes. Yep. It's like specifically if you taxi into this area, if you taxi like, like just outside it. Like, like there's a parking lot north of the club. If you ta like taxi there, then it's yeah. fine. I think before we had loadless timer, people would do that, but yeah. now we use loadless, so we don't bother. Health and armor. What the hell are you gonna do? Yep. Okay, I'm interested. I'm interested. There's zebra chair over there. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's all right. See. Let's do this. Hey. Okay. So you're just gonna. <laughs> I haven't seen this either. <laughs> so you just explosive shotgun shell them? Yes. Oh, that's boring. <laughs> this is better. Why? Faster. Oh, what am I doing? That's the ball. I'm doing this. It's also a strat. Oh, uh, I see. So you're using like yeah, because you're right hand. You both you and the enemies are right handed. Yep. So you're like shooting around the wall when they can't. Yeah. That's like some medieval castle layout design stuff. Hey, this is kind of improv. Like I was supposed to use, I was supposed to reload the automatic shotgun, but I kind of failed, and I used the MG instead. It's yeah, fine. It worked. You just got more. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is like way faster. This saves like 20 something seconds damn. over the zebra chair. Okay. Because you just kill the dudes way faster. Yeah, yeah. Like he made it look simple, but it's like so many guys that come running into the club. You can die so easy. Yeah. It's quite risky, actually. Everyone. I think we clear out here. Come on. Damn, made easy work of them. Yeah. Alright, now all that remains is the last mission. Yeah, okay, pulled that one off at least. Benito. Uh, yeah, can we get the sub two? Sub two, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no, I don't think you're getting sub two. Yeah. 
Yeah, this last mission is like six minutes ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah unfortunate. <laughs> one fifty-seven. Yeah. Oh well, I, you made like that one mistake that cost a lot of time. But like, even with that, you would have been underestimated had we not had crashes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, departure time. So, uh, I'm just gonna drive to a place, so if there are donations, now's a good time to read them. Yes, we do have a $10 donation with no message by Brent Howell, and it's going to the Super Mario Kart bonus run crowd control incentive. And then we're gonna take them up. End this bullshit. Okay. What, what is that incentive at? Let's fucking do this! The current state of the incentive is... Frantic clicking. Yeah, yeah, I can hear <laughs> left clicking. <laughs> Two thousand two hundred and fifty-six dollars uh, out of ten thousand. So we're almost quarter of the way there. Okay, we've got all day to do it. Hopefully, I mean, you know, don't don't rest on your laurels, but we can uh, rest on your laurels. I've never said that before. What does it even mean? <laughs> we, we can we can get that. We can definitely get the the bonus crowd control one. Yeah. yeah, also regarding the estimate, it's like, it's hard to judge because we use load less time and I like I base my estimate off of like the loads I have on my PC. So yeah, it's like, yeah. it's possible that the loads are just longer here and yeah, I can't really predict them. <laughs> but yeah, here we're gonna do a cool little skip with uh, sticky bombs. So first uh, we just get out of cover and shoot the heads. So now there are like these heroin penguin things that you need to destroy. So they're like uh, there. So there are like three on that side and then there's two on the other side. So just gonna throw these sticky bombs in uh, particular spots. So then I'm gonna run back here to get these two I'm gonna throw the sticky bomb at this one, and then I'm gonna stand here, shoot this one, and blow the sticky bombs, and that like just destroys all of them at once. So it skips you like running around the whole thing. Yeah, that's cool. And then you shoot Timur in the head. Yep. Just and get out of cover, and you can get him before he starts running away. Yeah. So now there's a lovely bike section. Yeah. 25 FPS time. Yep. We got 26. Yeah, 26. Okay. Yeah, so the the frame rate really affects the handling of the bike. Yep. Uh, basically, the lower the frame rate, the more grip you have. Yeah, if if you if you're playing at like 120 FPS, you're just doing freaking donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger rates with this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you try to turn, and the bike just spins around. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, so you hit this marker. There are actually a few routes you can take to that uh, location. But I, I like the uh, the motorway one, highway one, whatever. And then there's some more bike driving. Like the, this whole thing is so you can catch like, like the plane where uh, bulgaring is on, so you can kill him. And then also Yusuf come Yusuf comes in to like help you out. So he does of, is shoot that one thing really. Yeah. So here, the, instead of following the GPS, you can go down here, and there are like like no cars. That's uh, well, enemy cars that spawn here. So you can just hit, take a little shortcut to the airport. Also, I'm like humping the bike because uh, it makes it go faster. <laughs> a little bit more subtle about that. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now we're at the airport. And there's the plane that we need to catch. It's kind of like in Stowaway in San Andreas. Where... You have to like get to the back of the plane, and yeah, you can like take a little. You can cut the corner a little bit here, so you can get ahead of the plane, and hopefully not get uh, destroyed by these curbs. Uh, okay. Just get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't quite get it. Get the fastest entry, but you can still catch the plane. You don't hit the cat eyes. Yep. There it is. Just about. Right now, find a little fight on the plane. And you just stay in cover while you kill these guys. Then Bulgarin comes out. Uh, you don't do the execution kill, you just shoot them in the head with the P90. 
and then he's gonna blow off the plane and we're gonna parachute out and if you hold uh, I think it's, uh, sprint. yes if you hold sprint then you can skip the parachute opening yeah you're supposed to force you to open it but you can yeah, delay it yeah and then vehicle density for one last cab there's one it's probably yeah. not gonna get stopped that looks pretty good because the car's on the oh, oh he's gonna move now though no huh? No, oh, yeah, he's... yeah. I'm gonna try to intercept him up the road. Maybe you catch him. Yeah, I mean, you, usually he'll get to around here. Yeah, and he's gonna get caught yeah. that car. Does the taxi ever turn there? No. no. Okay. It's a it's a set spawn. So yeah, then yeah. one final taxi warp. <laughs> oh yeah, you can go straight to the marker now. Yeah. Nope. Of course I failed. It. Oh, okay. I was getting rid of time and everything. I mean, it just drops you off here. It doesn't save that much time. Are you pressing the button or am I? Uh, you can press it. Okay. So it, time is when I hit this marker over here. Yeah. And... Time. Hey, what? GG. Uh, uh, 30 minutes of resume. Uh, uh, a lot of bad things happened. It was on your fault. Yeah, Some I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know how much it is, like, load times and... Because this is like pretty a pretty slow time, so yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, sorry it took so long and things didn't exactly go my way, and I did make uh, like one big mistake. So, but yeah, that's uh, Ballad of Gay Tony. Any person, it's a fun run. Uh, if you're thinking about running GTA, you should definitely give it a try. And uh, yes, uh, shout outs to uh, Josh and MH for doing the commentary and all the. People who donated during this run, uh, keep up the great work, and yeah, let's just uh, move on to the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, GG. We have one last donation to read. Yep. Of course, clapping for the great run. Uh, we have fifty dollars by Swindlemaster saying, "Loving the run so far, and can't wait for the rest." Just want to say a huge thanks to the organizers and runners for putting this together every year. This is also going to the Super Mario Kart bonus run incentive. All right, and with that, uh, thank you for the thrilling run, Omega. It was great to watch. Uh, and thanks to everyone who donated. We managed to sur surpass the last event's total, and we're still approaching summer 2018 with 71,000, so make sure to keep the donations coming in. And with that, I shall sign off and leave you in the very capable hands of Ladar, so make her happy with some more donations and stick around for the next run where you will see 18 running Azure Striker Gun Vault. Now we're going into, into intermission, so enjoy the videos in the meantime. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye.